Bishop, I've heard you about coffee. And uh, the coffee story is a difficult story. You know, Hapo Beleni in the 70s, in the 80s, when I was here as a DO in 1990, 89, 1991, he was very happy when I came back now to Kiyanyaga as the district officer. He was so proud. And I remember his children who were in Mount Kenya Academy. So every Friday, I didn't have a car. So, mimi ni kwa panalan drova yangu, ikuwa la drova ila 109, natuwa moshi ni nini ni kushida mingi. We mwalimu on Friday. He used to go and pick his children, so he would give me a lift, alikuwa na puju 404. Tunayena na mpaka nyeri, where my family was, my young family was in nyeri. My wife was working with the cooperative bank. Ananiwacha nyeri, anachukua watoto, anakuja nyumbani. Then on Sunday, anawarudisha. Anapitia nyumbani, ananichukua, ananirudisha kia nyaga. So our, our history is, is, is a long one and a good one. And Mama Judith and your children, you know I'm there for you. And when don't be Mwalimu passed on, is when I had taken seven days away for prayers and fasting, meditation, and reflection in the heart of Mount Kenya Forest. No phone, nothing. And nobody could disturb me. I had given clear instructions because I wanted to reflect and meditate about the state of our nation and the welfare of the people of this region. But when Jomo, the contractor, found land that Dobe had died, he looked for my wife, Pastor Dokas, and Pastor Dokas, knowing my relationship with Mualim, sent word that I'd be interrupted from my prayers and meditation to be informed of his death. And I instructed him to come here, and I talked to Bam on phone. Sit down, Jomo. I want to say that uh, we have lost a great man, a great patriot, a great Kenyan. Na sisi atuwezi ulisa mungu maswali. Tumekubali. We thank God for the years and for his role in this country. Senator Karafa, I want to thank you. You are a true friend to Mwalim. Anytime Mwalim came to see me, he always tagged you along. Ampaka nika uliza, you know Karafa was not with us. Halikuwa pande ile. Sasa nika sema, ui Mwalim, bona naleta hii mutu ya zimiyo kwangu. So, Mwalim waka sema, hii mutu wana kama ni ya zimiyo ni rafikia. So, I want to thank you for very true friendship. I always, when I saw you, I knew you somewhere around. When I saw him, I knew you were somewhere around. Thank you very much for great friendship. It's good to be, to have a friend and somebody you can rely on. And of course, why we don't have a problem with Krava? Why we don't have a problem with Wakangara or anybody else? It's because I'm not a stupid leader. I am not very clever, but I'm not stupid. I made a decision as a senior most leader in this region to unite everybody irrespective of where you voted. And that is a unity of purpose for this region. I, regard Gashagwa, will never fight my brother or my sister. We have learned our lessons of division. Other regions are not fighting. People want this region to fight. But why I'm happy today is that the ordinary person from Mount Kenya is united. Lakini, tangu zamani, this region of ours has a history of traitors and betrayers. Kumahe de amudogo, kwa ditokonia, 
na agati na komerera na kuda gotome kuma hede ya mudogo no munyaka bisho vunya trere hari kuda gotome ikumi ukora wana adu milioni emwe matagete kirago kunyanira nyumba yitu ko gwore tukunia no tukunia na gutire hede tukono thamaki tondu ira atwe ni kuda gotome twe hachira ya tu horo wada cia cio taru turari uhoro wa ugai wa mbeca tukauga andu ni maheo mbeca na wingi wao ni turahitia mundu wothe ura bingo horo cio ni gakunia kadi gakunia na tukunia no gutu aturaga nginya hede ya muthungu twekira gwa ikunia riu andu makaru raini hara makihituka kona mau mau tondu gatire da kameja kana gakego bo muthungu akamenya ucio ni mau mau akareyo Mumenyerere munwa rwanyo baitu tutikaye ko gayukana. Na ningwenda kumuririkania. Mathina maria twanona 